As part of Chicago's Taste of Iceland Festival, Reka Vodka Ambassador Jeffrey Naples is here to teach us about some Icelandic-inspired cocktails. Jeffrey joins us now with the recipes and details on his upcoming cocktail-making class. Love that. Yes. So, Reka, the first vodka to come out of Iceland? Yeah, they're actually the first spirit ever distilled in Iceland at the time. They actually didn't even have a word for distill. Oh. In the Icelandic language when we came there. So, yeah, so now there's many others. Um, we're wonderful. We're so excited to be the first. Um, yeah, and you know, we're, we're kind of, we're, we keep ourselves simple with fresh, clean water, fresh, clean air, and just really exceptional, tasty vodka. Yeah, I would say it's, it's very clean. It's like you're yes. drinking water. Okay, you have some very unique cocktails. I very saw the unique. recipe and I was a little like, oh. right, right. So, we, uh, you know, obviously taste the Iceland's in town and we want to do some things that are kind of Icelandic inspired. If okay. you've been to Iceland, um, they have some wonderful growers there where they grow these beautiful, beautiful tomatoes um, mm -hmm. indoors. And so, we wanted to inspire that in a drink. And so, you know, take some normal drinks that we usually do and kind of give them a little bit of a twist. Okay. okay, all right. But you're saying that this is not like a Bloody Mary. It is not like a Bloody Mary. No. No, no, it's not. Okay. Uh, so we're going to combine some flavors of grapefruit, a little bit of elderflower, and then, we're, you know, a little soda on there, you know, just kind of keep okay. it nice and, and nice and smooth. It's a Collins, so basically like a vodka okay. Collins or a Tom Collins. So we're just adding a little bit of, a little bit of spice to it, a little okay. fire and a little ice. Okay. okay, you wanted to put us to work, too. Yeah. I'm going to put okay. you guys to work. So we got an extra couple sets here. Sweet. So I have a, a muddler for each of you and a glass there, as well okay. as a shaker. Got it. And we'll hand those over. All right. All right. We'll get All you guys right. uh, some ice to put in here as well, just to get it started. Mm -hmm. We'll dump some in there and we'll dump some in here and okay. so really really simple first thing you're gonna do is we're gonna take our tomato go ahead and throw it in that glass right there okay. and we'll go ahead and muddle that up I got mine right here as well so you just want us to give that a nice smash you don't really have to do much with it just get it crushed you know, make a little bit of a little bit of noise with that there okay and so then we're gonna I'm gonna add a little ice to mine real quick and then we're gonna go ahead and take our jiggers here and we'll go ahead and measure out two ounces of Reka vodka we can open okay. either one there okay the top one is Two ounces. The top yes. one is top two is ounces, two? yes. Yeah. Yep. So we call it two parts. So we have two parts of Reka. Thank you. Okay. Nice and simple. And now you might notice we're not using a simple syrup with this drink. So Why we're actually not? using using an elderflower cordial. This is a non-alcoholic elderflower. Oh. And so we're gonna add for this, we're gonna add about three fourths of an ounce. Okay. Just to sweeten it up a little bit. So I'll go so ahead and pour a little bit. Yep. Kind so of it. okay. There you go. All right. And if you like elderflower a lot, we can add a little extra. Okay. Short dinner. That as well. All right, there you go. Now, who you? does not love grapefruit? I Everyone don't likes know. a little I bit of grapefruit. Love, I love love grapefruit. It. All right. So go ahead. We're gonna add in one and a half parts. Oh, we'll do mine first. Make a little mess here. <laughs> one and a half parts of pink grapefruit juice. Okay. That's my favorite. There. Pink yes. is my favorite. Pink is my favorite too. Yeah. Okay, so I don't fill that all the way up. And so no. if you don't, if people at home are doing this and they don't have grapefruit juice, easy way to do it is just to grab yourself a normal grapefruit, mm -hmm. give that thing a squeeze, there give it a go. roll first. Okay, oh, we don't want to miss this. Oh, that's the elderflower. Yeah. Okay. Elderflower, yeah, so we got that already. So now we're just going to go ahead and give this a shake. So now we're going to go ahead and see Did you how you put, put soda in here? No, not yet. You want to put yet. the soda okay. last because it'll bubble up. But we don't need to muddle okay. that. Right. Yep, so you don't need to muddle anymore. Just so you're going to drop it in. And now we're going to test your shake. So give it a nice little slab on top and see how much you trust yourself. Yeah, pick it up. There we go. Oh, you got it. You give that a shake. You gotta remember to smile. Smile, smile, smile. All right. So we have some glasses here in front of us. I'll grab the ice here. We'll fill you guys up a little bit. Oh, so hold it up like this. If you can't get it off, hold it up. Hold it up high with your hand. Take the butt of your other hand. Hit it. I don't think. Oh, hold it a little higher up with this hand. Oh, she got it. Let's see. Are we gonna get another one here? Oh, no, 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 no. let's see. I failed. We got that I thing in there. Good. Okay. <laughs> yeah, been yeah, working out. Been awesome. working out. Right. So, all right. I'm going to put some ice in the glasses here, real quick. Okay. All right. And so, we're putting them in Colin's glasses. We're putting them in Colin's glasses. Yeah. yeah. I yeah. thought they were a little skinnier. They are usually a little skinnier. But, but we are going to Iceland. So we're going to Iceland. We're going big. We're going big. big. We're going so, big. we'll put some in here as well. So, what is about? about the festival as we're pouring so up these the Iceland Festival, yeah, is a, is a fun festival. We're traveling around different cities. And we just bring a little bit of Icelandic culture and drinks and things like that to the city. Oh, so, I shouldn't have done that. Yeah. No, that's okay. No. And then top off with this, right? You, yep. You can top off with your lemon or we have regular soda water. It's kind of a personal Ooh, preference thing. Lemon. Okay, we only got about a minute left, too, so if you want to start on the so next we'll do the drink. Next one. So the next one is, is a drink that's very, very interesting. Um, it is a drink that is like more like a whiskey sour mm -hmm. or a vodka sour. Ooh, but we're going to add some me. wine to mm -hmm. it. Okay. Mm -hmm. So Give me some more. Give two some more. parts vodka. Okay, two parts vodka. We're going to have three quarters of a part of simple syrup. I think I liked it better strength. 
Yours looks prettier. Yeah, and then you can top that with a, a little uh, little tomato there as well. So then for this one, we're gonna add in just one half of a lemon. So you okay. can go ahead and squeeze that right on the side there. And then one fourth of an orange. Okay, this tastes better than I was expecting. Right, yeah. See, it's a little surprising. Yeah. Huh. I mean, it's one of those things. We say, oh, have an open mind. Mm -hmm. You know, just about, just like Iceland, have an open mind to a unique perspective and a unique climate and a unique people. I like so, that. Yeah, I so think I'm going to like that one shake. better. Mm, not a really tomato person. All yeah. right. We're going to give this one a shake here. Shake and we're going this one just right in a regular glass. And we're going to top this with a bold red wine. I chose the Pinot Noir or something that has a little bit of flavor. Yeah. So this is one of those fun ones if you have, uh, if, you're, if you're around home, somebody comes over, bring a bottle of wine, you don't drink all of it, you want to mix it up the next day in a cocktail. That's this really This is a really fun. fun one. Yeah, so then we just go ahead and top a little bit of wine. You can oh. float it if you like with a, a spoon over the top. Mm -hmm. Make it try to float. I'm not very good at this sometimes. Oh, oh that is look, look at that. Look at that. that. Right. That's, That's pretty. pretty. We, take this, we take a little normal potato peeler and peel off a piece of orange. Throw it in there. Get a little essence right. of orange. Cheers, yeah. So the Taste of Icelandic Festival, it started yesterday, actually. It started right? yesterday. And it goes yes. until the 9th. Yep. And so the class is today. Cocktail class tonight. Um, it's starting at 5. Uh, we, we allow 50 people in. We usually have about 400 people show up. So if you're getting there, get there very Ooh. early. Yeah, and we're excited. Better. We give away a lot of fun things and possibly a trip to Iceland. Oh, that sounds really cool. That's a teaser. Yeah. yeah. All right. Yeah. Thank, Thank you so much. much. Delicious. Yeah.